so long time no see, right? Okay, so because I have been busy, so I have been busy with my course just completed. Okay, so because I have been busy with my course just completed last week. Okay, so because I have been busy with my course just completed last week. Okay, so because I have been busy with my course just completed last week. Okay, so because I have been busy with my course just completed last week. Okay, so because I have been busy with my course just completed last week. Okay, so because I have been busy with my course just completed last week. Okay, so because I have been busy with my course just completed last week. Okay, so because I have been busy with my course just completed last week. Okay, so because I have been busy with my course just completed last week. Okay, so because I have been busy with my course just completed last week. Okay, so because I have been busy with my course just completed last week. Okay, so because I have been busy with my course just completed last week. Okay, so because I have been busy with my course just completed last week. Okay, so because I have been busy with my course just completed last week. Okay, so because I have been busy with my course What types in Thai language? This is life and death syllables, and then I have divided into three groups. Now, mm-hmm. this is the three columns of uh, consonants, and the quest, the one question I have to make now. This is: Have you ever noticed the correlation between the consonants? This is twenty-one consonants and forty-four letters in the alphabet system. That's it. Now this is my question. And then why so many? This is why there are so many letters in the alphabet system in Thai. So this is the first first question. And so have a look at the consonant system and the alphabet system together now. For the consonantal sound system in the Thai language, there are twenty one front consonantal sounds and eight. In consonantal sounds, for the script system in the Thai language, there are forty-four letters in the script system, or forty-two letters. And now I will map twenty-one consonantal sound onto the forty-two letters of the Thai script system. And then you see the first column of Thai consonants. I will map onto the first column of the Thai script system, and then the second column of Thai consonant. I will map onto the second, third, and fourth columns in the script system, and then in the the third column of Thai consonants, I will map onto the fifth column of the script system. And another thing you're gonna see. On my Thai script chart, this is there's only 42 scripts. This is 42 letters because I have deleted k k u t and k k u n Why? I will talk about this when we learn the rising group and the lowering group together. So another question among the Thai language learners is that why the alphabet system is classified into three groups? To answer this question, we have to take into account two factors. This is the word types. This is the life. Syllables and the tone system. So let's have a look at the first column of the of the Thai letters. So the first column of the Thai alphabet chart is composed of nine letters. They are called the middle group or aksan krang. For the life syllables, all the letters in the middle group can be used with the four tone markers to produce. Five tones, for example, ba, 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 and that. So we call the word "glang." Glang here, apart from the meaning of middle, so glang can means common or general. For the word type, life syllables. For the word types, life syllables, when we apply with the first column of the Thai script, so you're gonna see that all these letters can be used with the four tone markers. When you use no tone markers, this you, this is you just pronounce without the tone. But when you use with my a, you pronounce low tone. When you use my to, you pronounce Falling tone, and then when you use my three, you pronounce high tone, and then when you use my t a t w a you use you pronounce rising tone. But, and if you notice, so on the chart, so I put the my three and my t a t w a in the red color because I want to show that these two markers normally are reserved for the foreign lang for the loan words from foreign language. For example, Chinese and English. So you see, the Chinese words in the Thai language are are very normal because, for example, I call my late dad, pa. This is mean dad. So and then some of my friends, na ka, they come from different Chinese group, and then they call daddy, pa. Na ka, so this is 
pa and pa are Chinese word, and sometimes we need to write this one. Or sometimes we use the high tone, and uh, we use the maitri, and we use the maitatawa, na ka for the sa imitations. For example, cha cha, na ka. So that's it. And so now we will talk about the decibel types, na ka. So my dear, for the middle group or accent clang, na ka. For the decibels, normally we don't use the tone markers, and the tone we get. Is low tone only. No matter what vowel they are, this is it can be long vowel or short vowel. Okay. And now let me wrap up. Okay. What we have talked about today. So today we have introduced to you the middle group or accent clang. Okay. To me, the word clang means general, not special. This is okay. It can be claimed that this group. It's just like a standard. This means the standard for the tone markers. This means in Thai we claim that we have the four tone markers, and only this group, the four tones marker, can be used just like the standard. My A for low tone, my T for falling tone, my T for high tone, and my Jatawa for rising tone. This is a kind of standard used in the Thai language. นะคะ that's why we call accent กลางนะคะ so and then for the decibels we don't use any tone markers นะคะ normally นะคะ only just for the sound imitation or the uh, foreign words นะคะ the loan was from the loan was from foreign language okay นะคะ and so นะคะ for the grammar last time we have talked about the noun นะคะ so that's mean we classify now into three types This is the general now, the proper now, and verbs now. This is now from verbs, and then we talk we talk intensively about the gan and quam. So today we're gonna talk about some word class, นะคะ related to the noun class. This is the classifier. So my dear, what does this mean by the word classifiers? First, let we we have to look at the. So we have to look at the nouns. In each culture, they have their own ways to treat the things, นะคะ both concrete and abstract. So in European languages, they always classify things into gender. This is the linguistic gender. This is in French, for example, in French we classify into the feminine and masculine. So this is uh, female and male. And in German, this is my major when I. นะคะ when I was at the high school and at the university so so this is cause a lot of problem to me because in German so they classify things into three genders this is the uh นะคะ this is the male female and neutral นะคะ so that's it นะคะ so masculine feminine and neutral this is นะคะ of Dutch นะคะ in German so my dear in Thai we don't have the system as such but how we classify things นะคะ around us นะ in our own way in the Thai languages way and back to the Thai language how we classify how we classify things around us both concrete and abstract we don't classify so things in the gender as such in uh, the European languages so So I want to show you something. So let's have a look at the following pictures together. So I show you the banana leaf that we call bai tong. Naka and then so the lotus leaf. This is by bua. Naka. So we in Thai culture in the old days and then now today as well. Naka we used by tong as a food container and then also the lotus leaf by bua. Naka. So we use as a flat food container. So here we see the shape. This is flat and then we see the function container. And so this is นะคะ so that's why and then by นะคะ so นะคะ basically by is now นะคะ by is now the basic now นะคะ derived from the word leave นะคะ so my dear and then this one นะคะ has นะคะ gradually change into another grammar this is classifier นะคะ we use by to classify the flat food container for example จาน dishes ถาด trays But anyway, 
So that's the virtual classify. When you classify, it's, it mean that when you classify a thing, if one thing can be classified thing, it's member there, so it's members, nakha, so must be more than one. Nakha, so that's it. We start with the flat food container, and then we don't care flat or not flat, just food container. And then you just don't care food or not food, just container. So you see, tan, tan, gel, khuat, even so we classify all these things under the word by so so let's have a look at the example together we're going to apply the classify with the quantity first and my dear some will argue that so by is not applied with the container we can apply with the card for example credit card นะครับฉัน me credit card 3 by for example this is correct because classifiers for the classifier must be uh, broadly used so this is by can be applied with the flat shape thing or the flat shape container or non flat shape container and then you see this is the power of the classifier like how one word can classify many things under it like okay so my dear like in my books like a handbook of Thai language like in the chapter 3 like I have discussed a lot about the classifier and then the use of the classifier and then we talk about this day by day like when we meet like so my dear please follow me like on this channel and if you are interested in this book you can uh, contact the Southeast Asian Study Program Graduate School Jolangkong University like you can contact by them by the email cjula s e a c h u l a like at gmail dot com my dear and today we talk about <laughs> and today we talk about something quite serious and then the next time we will practice together about the middle group we, we're gonna practice together the middle group so the Thai letters the Thai script system middle group and then we will talk more about the classifier and then today is when it's not heavy but it's cold outside and damp my dear take care of yourself because now we have the problem of the pandemic COVID-19 please wash your hand often and then do not forget to wear the mask my dear okay so see you next time in the next episode สวัสดีค่ะ